So last night, I was listening to some music just randomly, had Spotify on shuffle or whatever, and Blackstone Cherry pops up. And Blackstone Cherry is a band I've been a fan of for many years, probably around a decade at this point. Love these guys, but I hadn't listened to them in quite a while, um, particularly since their last album, which came out in 2016, called Kentucky. And I can't remember exactly what song it was I was listening to last time, but I just thought, damn, these guys are good. I forgot how good these guys were. Uh, and that led me to go on YouTube and check out some of their videos just because I was bored. Um, and I just was checking out some of the music that I love from these guys. Uh, their first three albums are absolutely phenomenal um, front to back. Those albums are fantastic. Um, Ma Magic Mountain was good. I didn't think it was great, but it was good. I enjoyed that record. And then their last record, Kentucky, I thought was a little bit of a drop. I, I didn't love that record. I thought it was okay for the most part. Um, but then I wake up this morning and lo and behold, we've got a new single from these guys burning. And it's just like, what are the odds? What are the odds of that happening? I, I just, I thought it was hilarious. Um, but, uh, this is, uh, going to be my second reaction video. Um, this time it's going to be to a new track. Uh, the first one I did was a song I'd already heard before, which, uh, I already know is way less entertaining. Obviously a reaction should predominantly be a reaction to something for the first time, which I totally understand. That video was just more of a test run. So this song I have not heard yet. I have not listened to it. Not a single note of it. Don't know what it sounds like. I, I think I have a guess. I mean, I know what Blackstone Cherry sounds like. If you don't know what Blackstone Cherry sounds like, imagine Leonard Skinner or ZZ Top just uh, turned up to 11. A more modern approach. Uh, these guys have wear their Southern influence on their sleeves, no doubt about it. Um, but they're, they've got a very interesting, unique sound that stands out. Uh, very, very engaging stuff. Uh, Chris, the lead singer, I think he's got one of the best voices in all of hard rock, in my opinion. He's absolutely fantastic. And that's one thing that has not dipped in quality on any of these records is his vocal ability. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. However, Blackstone Cherry, just from what I've seen, usually their first single uh, is a little more of a party rock uh, type vibe. Uh, especially from the last couple albums and they tend to be not my favorite tracks. So I don't know if this is, is going to be the same thing for this or not, but we'll just have to see. But I've been rambling on long enough. I think we should just get right into the reaction here. Uh, hopefully my computer doesn't lag too much because I know that was a problem in the first uh, video I did. But uh, yeah, so let's get it set up here. All right. And without further ado, we are going to watch Burnin' by Blackstone Cherry. Okay. Yeah, already. This is just classic Blackstone Cherry right here. Just like a man to gasoline. She said the world on fire like I ain't never seen. Yeah, <laughs> already with the lyrics. This is pretty typical. Ooh, I like that. Some good harmony there. Okay. Okay, I'm digging it so far. Uh, it's not really jumping out at me yet, but let's see. But yeah, this is definitely a very, like, party rock. The, the lyrics are very, like, Nickelback-esque. I don't mean that as an insult, by the way. It's just... It's easy to compare the two lyrics. I love those blues licks they throw in there. Fantastic. Okay. 
interesting, throwing a lot of Spanish lyrics in there. Ooh, I like this. It's like they're jamming out. In the studio. This really feels like, like a jam session. It, it feels very live to me, uh, which I like. I dig that. Very authentic sounding. Oh, here we go. His voice is so good. The video's got like a vintage like filter on it. It really adds to it. Love that shot in the room though. It's awesome. Okay. Alright. I see you, Blackstone Cherry. I see you. Alright. So, what did I think of that? It's pretty much what I expected, to be honest. This is pretty typical for their first singles. Thematically, it's very similar to songs like uh, White Trash Millionaire or uh, Me and Mary Jane. Um, what was the single off the last one? I can't even remember at this point. Um, but yeah, the, their, the first singles they drop are never really my favorites. Um, this one, I like what's going on guitar-wise. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, very blues-inspired with the licks thrown in there and stuff like that. Chris sounds phenomenal, as he always does. I uh, love his vocals. They, uh, they are always the standout, in my opinion. Um, the drumming was very good in the song as well. Uh, uh, Blackstone Cherry has a great drummer. He's very underrated. Uh, he really shines on almost all of their songs. And he had a lot of uh, interesting stuff in here, a lot of cool fills and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty run-of-the-mill, to be honest. I don't love it. Um, maybe it'll grow on me with time, but it's just... It's pretty just par for the course. It's pretty much exactly what I expected, to be honest. I was hoping for a little bit more, and I'm really hoping that eventually uh, they kind of go back. I, I hate the term go back to the roots. It's overused, but that first album has such a raw energy to it. it it's so much more in your face and aggressive, and I feel like this band hasn't really had that since their second album, the third album, which I think is fantastic, they started to get go a little bit more. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's it's a little more just. It, it's a little more polished. I think I would say. Uh, there's just something about the first two records that have an energy to them that I've been wanting for a long time. And they usually have one or two songs on each record that kind of harken back to that. Uh, but the first single is never that, and this certainly isn't that. So I'm hoping with this album we get a little bit more of that. But yeah, the, the new album is called Family Tree, and it's going to be due out. Uh, let's see here. I think it said April 20th. Yeah, April 20th. Um, so I'm going to be looking forward to that for sure. So yeah, guys, that's been my reaction. Uh, I'm not a guy who starts jumping up and down and screaming in a reaction video. If that's what you're looking for, I apologize. It's just not me. Uh, maybe if I hear a song that I'm a little bit more into, it'll make me a little bit more, uh, animated. Uh, but yeah, that's just my genuine thoughts on the song. My genuine reaction. First time listening to it. Hopefully the video didn't lag too much. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I just have a shit computer, what can I say? But I'm going to end it there, guys. That's been my reaction to Burnin' by Blackstone Cherry. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have to see you in my next video, and as always, keep rocking.